Yo, listen, first and foremost, Ebro in the morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg, the whole yeah. G unit here. Give him a round yeah. of applause. Yeah. Yeah. The whole unit. I can see it going down already. Yes, yeah, you can see you can feel the tension I in the room. <laughs> Laura Styles is going to replace Angie Martinez. Oh, okay. Yo, oh, start right, shit. Here we go. Start midday, Yo, don't try to take the <laughs> first <laughs> shot, Phil. Nah, you're going midday, we're gonna put you right there up nah. against. Nah, nah, nah. All nah. Right. Stop. See what happened was his fifty talking that talk because he got on with Angie Martinez talking about I made the switch. Listen, soon he uh, dropped he an EP. Nah, soon as that G part. unit shit come Listen, out, he listen, right here at the crib. The talk Every New time. York. This is the talk in New York. Who built that? That built right here. That was built right uh, here. Yeah, That's true. And he go goes Charles. How does that end up across the street, man? <laughs> Double the, the check. What the? F Yo, fifth, fifth, what fifth. The f fifth. We could talk about family members breaking up and coming back around. That's Perfect. we got yeah, Young Buck. That's a great right, segue. Right. Yeah, That's man. a great Bucky's segue. Here. I'm in the building, man. And last time I spoke to you, Fib, you was taking shots at Lloyd Banks and Yayo in this bitch. I was bitch. telling you the truth, boy. <laughs> and you can say exactly what I said now. Yeah, you well, was taking it now. You... I got to say, sorry, I had I had the geek out moment because I was, for people who don't know, I did not know. We didn't know. I didn't know about the G-Unit reunion at Summer Jam. Uh -huh. And so when I heard on fire, I got very excited. I run out of the, I was in a little VIP suite. I ran out. Now, but to be totally honest, I wasn't shocked to see Banks and 50 back together. Mm. I'm looking at that stage, and I have to say, Buck, when I saw you were there... Yeah. He screamed I, like a little bitch! Like like ah! ah! I was excited, man. That's a good look. What, 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 was that, what was that moment like? Did it, play out, did it play out in real life like it did in your head? Man, first of all, shout out to y'all for having us there in, no, in the no whole problem. nine, but... Um, a serious hip-hop moment. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Hey, if, you know, if you go back and look at that, when you, when I, on my part, when I came out, it's like... It was just like a pause for a minute. Soak it up. <laughs> and I'm Soak like, it up. bro, this is what I've been missing all this. You know what I'm saying? I've been going through it. I, I, I've been in prison the whole night. Yeah. So for me to come out and then get back with my brothers and then on that platform on the Summer Jam stage. So was it was it ever, and y'all speak to it, because uh -huh. I'll be honest, Phil, when we first organized this uh -huh. today, I didn't think I would see you today because they said right. you was really busy. And then it, yeah, and then it came back around. He was like, nah, he really wants to be there. Oh, I was actually looking forward to you not being here. Well, See, not, nice. not, not, but not only. <laughs> he never said that to Jay Z. Never would he say that. <laughs> like this no, one, never. Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> no, but only because I was really going. You know, when you got the family together, like huh? a lot. Of, you know, you the brother that's always been on the front. Like y'all, Banks. Yeah, yo, y'all grew up together. Huh? So when I seen y'all was kind of not moving, I knew it was like their family still. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It'll never not be cool, but the business may be kind of funny. Right. But the Buck situation, I was really thinking that something real, real, real fell out. Or you know, wh what was it? What was the it was, thing? It was interesting. The way you said that, it, it's, it's the way it is. But it took Ye to say things like out of his mouth that was like that I didn't understand and to do things for me to look at everything. It was there because Banks is actually he made the initial call. Mm. To and when we, me and him is talking, it's because Ye is going. <laughs> 50, he, he don't rock with us. Mm. Us. I said us. that, listen. I He's saying us. Right. I said that to one said... person on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need with this guy. Oh. That's all you need is one I said it. I said it to one person on Instagram. Vlad TV, you know how the media get. Yeah, right. I, but I, I don't care about the industry. I don't get involved in all that stuff. I did get emotional on IG. Yeah. That's my first time. But these are my brothers. I had a lot of frustration. Yeah. Yeah, I had feds knocking on my door. All kinds real. of crazy things yeah. going on. I'm not the average. I don't live the average rapper yeah. life. Did Jimmy like, you know what I'm saying? So... They were steady telling, meanwhile, the feds were knocking at the door. Exactly. Feds Jimmy knocking on my like, door, subpoenaing me. I forgot the guy under the car. <laughs> <laughs> the guy under the red car. So I got emotional. All right. And you know, 50 is crazy. You know, he But let me ask him. you this, though. What? Fifth, and, and maybe Fifth, you can answer this. Uh -huh. Like, we've seen your story. Yeah. We know about where you're from. We've seen the movie. But you're quick to switch on people. Like why, you, why do you feel that way? Like, no, why, <laughs> you do have a you do have a bit of. I hate to offend you, bro. You no, 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 no. But I think it's I, I think it's problem. because of how you came up, though, that you're always on guard for people to let you down. Right, I don't have a problem when if there's a problem. I've seen so many different things that I, I, I watch. Everyone's temperament and movements. You see what I'm saying? Like, and it's just if when, when you see that, you go, okay. Banks knows me good enough to know that I was when he's saying us, us, us. I might just get both of them. Because I'm looking good. Why? Why? Because I'm not hearing anything <laughs> from. from well, why are you so quick to turn it's though? Crazy man. How long Just because <laughs> we already had over uh, almost two years and no communication. So if we had no almost two years and with no communication at all, but he hasn't said anything disrespectful, or derogatory in any way. 
and then Ye starts to spend, and these are all pressures of of having to be on your own and having real money in your they pocket you and real the, business that, pressure. Look, the the federal situation with yeah. Jimmy and all of that, they tell you I took care of it because I I don't have a problem with troubleshooting when the situation comes. There's a problem that I got to solve it. I do that with no problem. But if you're saying your your your, your personal comfort, I, I don't think I'm responsible for it. But but at that point, I I look at Fifty as this is my brother right here. That's right. But it's almost like he's not human sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like Fifth is like his his emotion his emotions. He knows. That's I why I keep trying to crack into, him. that's what you're dancing around. See, See what I'm saying to you is, I know like you've been through a lot of loss and a lot of damage in right. your life. Right, so right. as soon as you see someone close to you kind of step funny because they're emotional, you quick to be like, nah, like, and bug on everybody. Like, yeah, because look, the way we came up. But I'm saying you got to give sometimes cats get frustrated. Like, give them a little latitude. Like, like That frustration is, look, you can always make it me. It's easy because I win. I'm the winner. You're a good bad guy, man. You're the right. best. And if you're in the, look, if, you're in the, if ever you have pressure or anything that's connected to finance, a good bad today, guy, you're gonna always look to the guy who's still in a comfortable position. Mm -hmm. So you look and you say, well, he's still in a comfortable position, this and that. So it's his. He's the person that I have the issue with. This is where, like, with Shaw Money, what's Shaw Money's issue with me? I don't know. Me either. I think it's he's not as comfortable as he used to be, and I'm still financially comfortable in every way possible. So I become the culprit in that situation. Even and, though you broke up amicably at the time? Yeah. Like, I, I think afterwards, when you go, when it, it looks like, okay, we're just going separate ways until you don't continue to have the success. That and then if it's easy to be like, uh, right. I mean, that, that is natural that that can happen. Mm. Yeah, and then it's, it starts to feel like it's something different, and it, it, it's not. But you don't think that you approach things from like even family things. You don't think you approach family things from a street mentality. Even I think there's only one way. If you got to compass your morals, your sets is you gonna live by them, right? So if there's if a person does something and, and they show you that they don't, that this is the way they are. Like I, I don't think children are equal to their parents at any point. I think outside of whatever you offer them for support. You've offered them life itself. They never become your equal. So, like in, in in my case with my actual son, my oldest son, when he he doesn't want to talk, then I go fine, and we don't actually have that conversation at that point. And I've reached out. I've, I've went places he was at, and he left those places because he's on team mom. Mm. And at, at that point, then cool. Then you do what you got to do, and I'm happy for you. I hope you continue to be successful. He successfully completed high school and he's moving mm -hmm. on to college now. So, he, and all those things have been provided by me. Right. Financially, but you go tough everything. love. You're a tough love type of dude. How would like, I don't? If a person is clearly indicating, look, I, I know myself at 18. I was an adult since I was 15 years old because at that point they would have charged me as an adult for all of the activity we were involved. In, right. Right. So, him. Not having that lifestyle or being exposed to that, 18 is a, a longer portion He's still of time. maturing. Right, but he he's on his own. He doesn't have to mature He's on his own. He's away in a, in yeah. a prep school in college. So it's his decision. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he can think of himself now. Yeah. Uh, as far as the reunion goes, why no game and no Olivia? <laughs> well... <laughs> Damn, you want, Do you want to talk about Because people be, man. <laughs> hey, you can answer, yeah. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. I just feel like with the game thing, y'all y'all know what it is. Like he was messing with Jimmy Henchman to get deeper, it's deeper than rap. Uh, y'all okay. keep asking that dumb question. God, when Laura. his OGs <laughs> just cooking Laura had pe yeah. feds knocking at my door. Yeah, so nah, people like the industry, y'all don't get it because it's not, not. people don't yeah, get yeah, street. Yeah, it's yeah, the streets, y'all yeah, don't yeah, get we it. Squares, man. We yeah, we're squares. squares yeah, man. I, I know. I know. Squares. All right, so it's all there is deeper than that. Why you mad at me for being a square? I'm not just Google it and you figure it out. You better Google something. Game is yo. Listen, let me explain. Something to you. <laughs> you want to, yeah, you to turn let me, up. Let me bro. explain yeah, something no, to I you. Did. I did. My views of the industry is there's a lot of snakes in it. Game was a snake that won. He was, it was perfect timing for him. G Unit was blowing. Understand, 50 was in the studio with Dre. He was in a little studio. Me and Banks is in a big studio. we here and Get Rich or Die Trying. we doing our freestyles. Fifth helped him. He gave him this how we do all these records. He's playing it on a balcony in a condo, mm. remember? And you gave him some hit records. He could have kept them records but, for himself, and we helped him. So it's like, we, it's like we oh, G-Unit, we always the bad guys, but nobody ever see what anybody else does. Look, look at this, look at this. And, and, and I don't think he knew what he was doing. 
a game. I think that he didn't know how deep it was. Jimmy and how was, was in his ear. Like Jimmy's, it really was Jimmy's issues with with Chris and just his business right. where he was at because he was in a better space as a management. company. And when you say Chris, you mean Chris Lighty, right. rest in peace. Yeah, because he was in a better space as a management company before he went away, and he came back and and game would be his uh, biggest asset as a new artist. So he didn't want it to be another part of Fifty Cent's organ. So he was trying to divide from the rip right, anyway. Look, but it's better, like, look, you got your own coast over here. You over here. You be something separate. It's a separate thing. And then he know that he could intimidate, like, Jimmy and Iveen mm. on that end. Like, that that energy would be there, and it would help him in, in the negotiations process. Okay, so why do you guys have to cook Olivia, leave her out? What's going on? I mean, well, she, Olivia never happened. Oh, that you don't consider that a thing that oh, actually God. officially went down? All right, it never worked. Like it, when you had a song come out and then and hit record, and we start to move forward and progress and different things, then like, our <coughs> album never came out. That's like why no hot rod, right? Oh, uh, why no right. Olivia? Yeah, no, right, not right. two shit. All kind of falls in there. Um, while we on um, music coming out right now, one of the biggest songs in the city, Bobby Shmurda. Yeah, yeah. It was originally a Lloyd Banks beat. Yeah, that yeah. Didn't <laughs> grab, 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 it came from the internet. What he had, Bobby Schmurter had a vine or something, right? That's how right. yeah, they yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, it was a dance too. Uh, it just did he dance, but you got the Schmurter. Right. Well, it's a classic. You know it's a classic I mean? Bodmon dance, just like a. But Banks, how does it feel when you see that? Like, what is it? A- Listen, man, I don't got no percentage of hating me. You understand? I'm just gonna tell you honestly. I was happy for him because yeah. when I seen it. From the, you know, initially they having fun, man. Yeah, they didn't that's know what Ebro always says. I, I, I always say the same thing. I'm like, yo, the reason this blew up is because you see some kids that's really from an area we exactly. know is not a great one. It's they standing bad. outside, it's bad, and dancing right. and having fun. Right. Everybody's like, yo, and these when he's in, yo. that just caught a body about a week ago. They, they in the nineties. Well, so, yeah, exactly. Right. To the nineties, shout to the court one. It might be. That's what they do over there. It's someone associated. My name be involved with that any day than somebody else be. You know what I'm saying? I liked it. To me, honestly, it's hard for me not to like it because it reminds me of Chief Keep. I like them. It feels like the drill music that they made. They said savage. They use. Slang that comes from Chicago energy, and I think when we talked to them, they were very much like, "Yes, that inspired us as well as you right. know." Because he was saying that you know they kids, they grew up on the South yeah, stuff, the energy, grew up on right? the New York stuff. So right. it's New York. Yeah. It's it's a New York version of it because they are. That's hip hop to me. Like for you to be able to come, this genre of music created more millionaires from <clears throat> nothing. Yeah, well, African American and and. Uh, Latinos and, and minority millionaires. Entrepreneurs. Yeah, it created the most out of all genres of music. And it's because it, it provides an opportunity for you to have nothing and for us to be intrigued with it and then support it because of that. You know, like, so while watching Bobby's Murder is like watching Chief Keith in his grandmother's living room. Right. It's that same thing. You know, it's the same crew behind him that would be there f- for support if something went, went wrong. It's just kids from New York versus kids from Chicago. You know, Ebro, we got good luck today. Sorry, real quick. Yeah. Um, well, because I, you know, they've been around the block. They've been doing these interviews now for a minute. So we we, we get in when we get in. But the good news is, Laura Styles, hmm. there's new Floyd drama update within like the last hour. Oh yeah, yeah. What happened? There's brand new I Floyd thought, nonsense. Yeah, yeah, that he challenged you to donate uh, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to Mike Brown's foundation. Did you see that? No, what, what? How much? Here, yeah, start yeah, recording yeah. fifth right now on his Instagram. What was it about? What was it about? Right what was it about? Like, let me see. Hold on, let me find this. Challenge me for like to donate seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to the to his foundation. Mike Brown has a foundation that you know I, I, everything that's going on. We already donate this. Actually, this shirt that I have on, yeah, is, is, is a shirt from my clothing line. That was a bad joke. That was a bad challenge. You know what I'm man. saying? Because you guys was already ahead of that. Yeah, we yeah, we're ahead that. of that. Make, make, but make ask sure him to read page three in Harry, and Harry oh, Potter. Okay, he says here that he was same seven fifty for page the, three the and ALS Harry Potter. The challenge. So on Instagram, so he's like, instead, he should donate seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. 
Uh, Mike Brown's well, tell him we, we. You make sure you tell him we. we oh, been, I, that's not my. We, we, yeah, we don't even know. Been he been been never. He don't come up we, here. He we, don't we try. Been donating. I was told. <laughs> I was told I couldn't speak to him. He was trying to. I invited him up because when the whole uh, illiteracy thing, I was like, look, it's an opportunity, Floyd, for you to actually, if you can't read. And this is a common thing. Like, I didn't want to make you a joke out of it. You got money to get a tutor. Well, you would think that, you know. You could have made me play the 750. I'm, I'm All saying it's, it's one page of cat in the hat. <laughs> Do you know how you, look, I was saying, please make me pay. You know, part of why people covered it is, is what would I look like not? Making a donation. Oh, you'd have to. No, no, if he did it, you had to deliver. No, I have. You had to. I'm not going to say that and not be real. You had to. I got it in singles. Strip club. Strip club. Did you feel a certain way when he brought your son into it, though? Like, because I know you don't know, you don't play the kid thing. Like, that's over the line for you. I don't like, you know, play with the kid. Plus, I to be honest with you, me with Floyd is friendly. It's still like my brother. Right, right, right. Like, I don't go past, like, Saying nothing too crazy, but, but you didn't like. I, I I would pick up on you didn't like him talking about your son though. Oh yeah, yeah, that part. But he didn't say it. It was a, another kid that be around him. Oh, got it. So yeah. you know he gonna. Get... <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you I, about it. I want fifty. You know, I'm a huge wrestling fan, and I just when I'm around fifty, I'm just like you are. In wrestling, the bad guys are called heels. You are the epitome of a heel. That move <laughs> when you challenge. How did you take the ALS challenge and flip it on its fucking head? It was like the most brilliant stroke of shit well, talking you know, in hip hop history. No, everyone, you know, everybody was actually being a part of the ALS challenge. So at that point, when you say ALS. ESL challenge. <laughs> <laughs> You're such you know an ass. And you tell them to read something. I mean, it, it, it's real simple. All you gotta do is read a page in front of people. I mean, you had he had the Harry Potter book since I said this. He's been reading it. He's been practicing because somebody at some point he has to you know redeem himself and go ahead and be in front of people. And if you saw Floyd right now on the street, though, you guys would would you guys somewhat laugh about the situation? It wouldn't well, be I that mean, real? I, I wouldn't be tense for them. No. It wouldn't be tense. No, he had to make a mistake. Like, have the super big bodyguard. He does have some super... Let me... The, Hide out in my size next week. <laughs> One shot. In my oh, size. If you touch the size, it comes down in my that size. Didn't happen. One week. Well, that didn't happen. That We're going to move right past that One over the hit kid, the kid kid. Book back. Kid, you got a mic, sir. Introduce yourself. A lot of people have heard about you. What's good with it, bro? Scam out, chill. And where you from, sir? 50, I'm talking to you. I'm New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? All right. New Orleans, man. Ain't no stand up, man. We out here. Hot 97. What's good? This guy, you train this guy good. <laughs> Yo, uh, but kid, kid, what's it like to be the to be the 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 new kid? No pun intended. While yeah. these guys are having their reunions, got to be just from a hip hop fan standpoint. Sure. What's that experience like? Sure. Just being around yeah. that. Oh man, I get my fan moments all the time, <laughs> all the time, <laughs> all the time. Stop in the middle of the show and look. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> look, I gotta stop sometimes. I be about to take my phone out and get an Instagram. <laughs> 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 Real talk, oh, man. Where, where I'm from, man, it's like people still can't believe it's me. You know what I mean? Yeah, Especially yeah. to be a member of a legendary group like this here. You feel me? Everybody up here is established artists. Do you and Buck have? Uh, do you and Buck have any different relationship being the two Southern dudes in the crew? Oh uh, yeah, all the time, man. They don't understand half the stuff we be. That's saying what I'm saying. We can we can just have a regular conversation at times, <laughs> Nate. Yo, it's it's funny to me because we was in um we was in Belgium and he's sitting yeah. next to me and we first class and he told the stewardess like yo you give me a soda you hurt man like and, and the stewardess came back like three times like what do he say I was like yo you don't understand that slang and you get used to it though you get used to it yeah man. you just gotta be around us right. enough. For real, for real. So G Unit's got a new EP on sale. Yeah, already beauty, copped yeah. it. So what is it? Six beauty songs. Independent. Yeah, the Beauty right. Independence. Yes. Number one on iTunes. Yes, the second version of it is the Beast. Okay. You know, is G Unit. So they'll get a chance to get the second half. We recorded for about almost forty records. Yeah, about forty. Yeah. I wasn't being in the studio for the first time. Crazy. <laughs> like paint the picture. Well, it felt like what? Smoky. Yeah, <laughs> smoky. It felt like two thousand one, two thousand two. To be honest, because it was no break point. You know, it's an eight bar cadence, and then I gotta go my eight, but go his eight kids. So, you know, if you miss Next out, track. you miss yeah, out. Yeah, so everybody's yeah. in a hurry to get their piece out yeah. because you feel like you're not gonna be on the song. Right. You, you gotta say the dopest. Yeah. Right. But you can come up with an eight yeah. bars, so you know what but I'm the, saying? The illest part of it is the content is now. 
You know, so like the Mike Brown situation, you know, rest in peace. That's like the you Osh. Can, you can speak on it yeah. now, and it'll impact now more than it would in December. Television is you know? playing in the actual studio, so when it plays... And, we, and then the time to release is much quicker with you guys being on your own. And, like the mixtape. Yeah. And that's the beauty, I think, of being with, like the beauty of independence. You know, music marks time, you know, and then I think a lot of times as artists, we make music. And then you amongst these labels, and then you got to hold on to your music eight until months. you get eight months, and then a, and by the time it's time to put it out, you gotta change the name. Shit, it's outdated. Say it is outdated and the yeah. whole nine. So it's like independently, it's a good move for us because we got so much music and so much to offer to the fans. And it's like right now, it's Fifty can wake up and say tomorrow we're gonna put this out. Yeah, we so it keeps the, the fan. In tune because you never know what we gonna right. do. Right, and it's, be it's, it's starting a new regimen of releasing music and then judge it as it comes mm -hmm. instead of trying to get get it up because it's just taking twenty weeks to get a record in position yeah, at radio. It's taking a long right. time. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's so much music coming out every day. Yeah, you yeah. know, with social media. I mean, every day, every day, is my every, day. Yeah. Every, every day is new music coming out. So you got to cut through. Do you guys have a schedule now of how these releases are gonna come well, out? Like, yeah, what should we the, look for? The beast will be at in October. Okay. And then the Immortal was done before we even started this, so and that's your next yeah. joint, right? So I I try to close the year out. Um, what about an official like a North American G Unit tour? And if so, who would you guys think would be good to put on as openers for that? Because I think that could be a big arena tour. Y'all could really yeah. be out there. Oh, I mean, you could. Yeah, go on. I, a, uh, go ahead. Compete like the Drake versus Wayne. Mm. There you go. Well, we could bring somebody else because the catalog is is deep. Like we could just go hit records for the entire show. Who would it be? I don't know. That's the thing. Because like, it, remember, I, I, that's the thing. Like, they yeah, be united. That would be, that would be a, G Universe Dipset. G Unit Dipset. I just don't know. I just feel too bad for backstage security already. <laughs> I, that is a nightmare. Oh, wow, that wow. is too many. Yeah, yeah, but it ain't. It ain't. It ain't like it, it, be, it, ain't, it ain't. You know. It ain't like it's a real life. See, we start. No, you know, there's so many home. people. Just talking, but I just think about New York. Out of state, you'd be fine. Yeah. New York would be It'll a be freaking better. disaster. It'd be, it'd be yeah. crazy. Um, you know, be scared just, back there. I, be, oh yeah, come on, <laughs> sure. No, I'm, I'm just, I just I just look at security like I get love. I just feel bad for security. But here's the thing. I, I've noticed this. Since I've been here seven years now, and and in DJing and warming up crowds for concerts. The thing I I got to a point where I have a thing I do for G Unit, right? I realized that. I'm old. I'm 35. The shit, I y'all. I was already an adult, but I interviewed yeah. 50 when the first album came out, yeah. so I was already past my prime of music. Right. The kids who I play for, though, y'all are fucking Eric B and Rakim. Yeah, like it, 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 yeah. So what I say when I when I have a whole crowd at Best Buy Theater and I go, if this is the hip hop album that got you into this culture, and I play What Up Gangsta, they go, they go yeah. fucking oh, ballistic. Wow, yeah, yeah. So the role you guys play in those kids' lives is different. Puts you in a really interesting situation now, and that's why I ask about the tour because it's an exciting opportunity to get out in front of those kids as adults now you know, yeah that's real when, you, when right. they say yo you, you like you like older now because your music when you're in it and you've never really stopped being a part of the culture you go you, you kind of resist that but when you said like rock him, I like that. Well, who wouldn't want to be that? For people? <laughs> well, because you want to be classic, like, right, man. Right. You want to be classic. Yeah, wanna, yeah. well, I, I think every artist would want to be classic at some point yeah. in his career. You I think in hip hop, we always, you know, run to try to stay young. Right. right, like, cause right. we feel like, but I, I find the young kids of twenty twenty ones, they want OGs to be OGs and still be right, dope right. and not yeah. try to be yeah. like them. Yeah. Right. right, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I can't do that shit with the skinny jeans. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, yeah, nah, <laughs> not going all the way. I mean, you, know, you don't wear crazy huge pants though. Nah, that's right. Those are st fit, that still would look crazy tight in two thousand in nineteen ninety nine. They're not wearing out there. Yeah, no. uh, yeah, we've seen it. Hey, congratulations it's, it's on power. power. Thank you. It's really good. Tell me I ain't somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still don't like the fucking I name of that. Of them, I still don't like the name of that I shit. Got three Change of them. the name. No, power means the same thing in every language. <laughs> <laughs> Besides. Except in hip hop, where it means bootleg radio station compared to the real radio station. Oh, oh, oh man! <laughs> no, no, he didn't man. like this. I see what it is. It's Except Yankee logo next to the yeah, iconic logo. The hot. Yankees okay, and exactly. Mets. Yankees and Mets. That's all. The hot, um, but it, it, I watched the whole the whole season. It was very well done. I was actually surprised. I didn't know what to expect at all. Thanks, I had man. no idea. It's you know, well I, done. And I think this, the second season is going to impress me even more because that like the just sitting in the writing room, it's it, it's got some real. 
You can't guess it. Is Nateri going to keep masturbating in the whip? Is that going to happen every season? <laughs> now listen to this. No, no, no. But look, at that point. <laughs> I mean, because I, I can't. No, we went over I don't know. Y'all, y'all ain't watched it, right? I haven't seen that. <laughs> she, was in, she was in 3LW, right? Yeah. That was the group she was in. Yeah. She masturbates in the back seat because she's trying to have sex with her husband's drop. No, no, no. But she looked, what she did was she did it. <laughs> could you, could you, please, look. If your woman masturbated in the back of the whip. Yeah. With the driver driving the actual vehicle. Does the driver know what's happening? Yes. Okay. Oh, he looks at like He's looking at the... Okay, okay. She's doing right, it to try it. to fuck him. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. So she wants to fuck him. She, she, didn't, oh. she didn't actually do that. She knew she could if she wanted to. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. What are you about to ask, though? If you my woman did that, what? If, <laughs> what could you do about it? Me? Very little. Um, <laughs> what would you do? What could you do about it? <laughs> could you please, Yo, could you please not masturbate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that you're making me look bad. You're making me look crazy out here. <laughs> what else oh, you yeah, bad. Bad. Well, thing is, but you still <laughs> haven't done enough to go. <laughs> She right. still ain't done enough for you to say nah, you this right. is over. You, you gotta right. go. What? Especially if you got you, kids. You let him see you do it. Exactly. And and in the story, <laughs> and in the story, exactly. she's so. I mean, their relationship. They came up together. Right. They hustled together. They got to where they are. Like she was his. You know, she rode for him. So it was kind of like she was it's, feeling neglected. So she showed a pussy to the driver. That yeah. happens. That's real life. And that's that real happens. life. That's that real was life. Her way of responding back to think what he was doing. Right. Right. And it wasn't. That's a woman for it's you. It's just t- it's teetering that line yeah. of you over, you overdoing it. I mean, I'd be mad about it, but can you? You couldn't. You wouldn't end the relationship. And wait, life. she was masturbating for your son. Yeah, my son's the driver. Your son's the driver. Yeah, because Fifty's in prison. He got his his son got the job based on him yeah, being yeah. an OG. Oh, and wait, she masturbating. Now it's getting a little weird. Now it's getting a little weirder. Masturbating in front of my son because now it's almost. No, like, I mean he's a grown man. How old is he? He's a grown man. He's the driver. He's driving the car. He's eighteen. How old are you on the show? Well, I'm like 38. Okay, okay, that's that's like doable. It, you know? So I know music is the focus, but are any of you guys trying something like acting also? Definitely. Definitely. I did. I did my little. I did SWAT too a while back, like maybe yeah. two years ago. Yeah, Benny Shout Boom to Benny directed Boom. it. So I'm I'm working on yeah. some other things right now. Yeah, my, I basically from the beginning I always wanted to use this as like a stepping stone to get off into other things. So for me, you know, I got a restaurants. I'm I'm I got the. Soul food restaurant. I got my clothing line, the Dope Boy University clothing t shirt line. So, Buck, was it not? State. We heard, we, because. My hands is in everything. We heard there was, when, when, when things were bad with y'all and stories would fly around, I'm pretty sure one of the stories that came flying by our desk was Young Buck's broke, has nothing, blah, blah, blah. You got, let me, let me catch what, you right there. This yeah, bro, please. My broke. Is a, I know, is, is like Rich Guy broke? Guy. Right. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. My broke, <laughs> my broke is the average person's rich. You know, if I got a million dollars, I'm broke. That's just especially if it's not rolling in the same. Right, right, right. So you got you were running low, but you I'm were good. Really low. Especially if you don't feel like calling the IRS. I'm broke. You <laughs> feel yeah. me? I'm broke right now. But no, my my tech situation, <laughs> my <laughs> my tech situation. Come over here looking for none of this. Yeah. My tech situations <laughs> was a whole different ball game. You know, I ran into the, the whole tech situation from the beginning, being from the streets, getting the money. I never paid taxes in my life. You know, I. Went on a rock the mic tour. We did three hundred some shows. Rock and, your and, 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 yeah, you go exactly. I never did three hundred some shows. He in, never in was around when he couldn't wasn't being paid to be right. right. So uh, when I come home, came for the very first time, we started the tour and it was he was being paid every show, but he didn't know right. So by the time he got back, like the main hours that Ye had was in right. I think I think I just think had a million. I think the success was home. too fast right. for G Unit. Right, like. When I was locked up, and I'm hearing 50 doing 1.5 his first week, I'm on Rikers Island, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I always, me, Banks, and Fifth being in his grandmother crib, and him playing Get Richard Die Trying, and him bringing 80 vests in there, I didn't think we was going to make it as far as we did. Yeah. So I'm locked up, I'm doing the shock thing six months, and Banks came see me with some dumb big rings on, like, yo, things are different now. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm like, things are different. It happened too fast. 11 million records. telling the whole story. Look, 11 million. (laughs) Oh, I had the flame hat on. They They had a sign this big. (laughs) <laughs> he said, I'm a hothead or something. Yeah, right? I'm a hothead. I got in trouble. You in, with trouble? That in trouble? Yeah. You in trouble? Uh, in trouble. trouble. Wait, wait. In jail? He yes. had a thing that said, I'm a yeah, hothead? It's the, it's the yeah. shock program. They make all military so stuff. You got to carry logs. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. So when I came home, one thing I could respect about Fifth, it, it was never like, you know how you hear about the big homie letting the little homie stay in the hood and he gets smoked? 
Mm. It happens all the time in the rap game. Mm. When I came home, I had a condo on 25th Ready Street. Ready to get out. Yeah, because Ready even, when, right. Ye, Ready even when Ye was gone and, and we from, would do right. our shows, he was still getting paid. Right. right. Then from 25th Besides Street. Because I would have had to pay taxes anyway on the money. But right. I could have just kept it. It was my money. Right. I just let But you, know, you took I, care of I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, look, so, I know just, you do. He oh, just reminding yeah. you again yeah, from the earlier point of this conversation when shit got sideways. But look, yo, I told you that out of ten, out of ten, twelve years, that's the first time you ever heard Yayo flip out. You know I love you, bro. But um, after that, I moved in with Banks. Me and Banks had a spot, Battery Park. And it was just amazing to me Like yo it was crazy See, you, you got know, us kicked out I, I got us kicked <laughs> out Fifth got us too. kicked I, out Oh god Yeah oh, nah god. I heard you got everybody kicked out Cause that was when you started The whole porn thing Everybody ah, forget yeah, Lloyd yeah, Banks was making porno Girls coming in the crib Four in the morning Fifties recorded so. Five in the morning Y'all missed the porno shit Y'all gonna act like The porno thing didn't happen I remember You got a point there Cause that might be the reason why I had 300 shows That y'all was never home he had the ankle bracelet on him, so he was like, Yeah, I was know, on house arrest. He's, and he's yeah, playing he, the music so he loud. Didn't listen to 50, you came recorded six in the morning one day. <laughs> That's one time. One time. More than one time. <laughs> they did that come on, man. man. Every time you got, come on, man. The first the building note, second AJ. From one since oh, okay, yeah. Right. He know that it was your fault. That you got kicked out of and it. Like, that was over and over. Man, they have music bumping four in the morning, him and him when they come off the road. Come on, I had a you know, I I wild out once in a while, but so we got kicked out from then. You know, to me, I like I don't stress the industry thing because I think the industry thing could tear you down as a person. They you know, and they I'm to the like point. The look, I'm to the point Say, where I don't stress the industry. No, nah, I don't because I don't. You because the industry thing. I don't care. He about keeps it. bringing it up. I don't. It's not even him. I think no because I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Look, I'm gonna be. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think the best thing about this thing is the travel. It's like for me to go see Dubai, Amsterdam, oh, yeah, see the world, Paris, Germany. Russia, like that's something that nobody could ever take away from. Do you me. think that mellowed you out? Yeah, of course. Because you, you know, used to be. Because look, you used to be ready all the time, but the, and and now you like a. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, but but now you, it seems like you're more, you're more thoughtful, and <laughs> no, you're a little bit more. Like nah, one. because sometimes no, we know Yale's Because sometimes one. you come to radio, and radio can trick you. Listen, y'all niggas cannot Ooh. get in this room and act like we ain't took good care nah, of y'all. Yeah, yeah, as many times as y'all done got us kicked out of buildings. Oh, hold on, hold on. The reason this building exists is because this. Fucking rent is here, yo. I just told I just told um, Buck that he was like yo I was like you know we got banned years ago I'm yeah. like huh he like for real I'm yeah. like yeah we got banned I mean I went to the other yeah thing. I was like huh been here this that's it. Oh, this is the yeah this is the fifty thing. cent <laughs> studio this, this is why yeah. this exists well, when, we, when we was pulling up that I, I was wondering Banks was like. This the uh, one with the cardboard. This the stuff. other hot 97. <laughs> yo, but how about this? How about this? It wasn't yo real <laughs> shit. Real shit. Fifty gets pinned with it, right? But the the shit that went down. He wasn't even involved. On it had nothing to do. He was I, on I the radio. Uh, he was not outside. Was in, right. Nobody yeah, from the squad right, was right. outside. It right. was... <laughs> What'd you say? Not I involved. Inside. I had nothing to do with anything. I, <laughs> I'm just reiterating what you were saying at the same time yeah, for the no, cameras. That's all. <laughs> no, but also, too. and y'all have to remember, like, y- y'all have said a lot of places. I can say with uh, strong conviction that there has not been another station that's continuously played G Unit music. Oh, I'm yeah. not saying banks, we played everything. We, but we played a Bobby lot of G Unit music the over Bobby the years. Bobby Schmurter joint, we, we missed. Y'all got what was yours called? Before Jackpot. Jackpot. Yeah, we missed that. But we've done pretty well supporting I'll always, get, obviously. Get, of, course, yeah, of course. When I see artists, look, th- this is the difference between... I- I've been writing music full time since 97. Bumped around until I had a break in 03. Right? And Get Rich or Die trying to take off, but I'm-, I'm prepared for it because I've been writing. And I didn't want to get put back into the box where writers could rap, but talented rappers that aren't good songwriters. And now when you when you get... Like the Trinidad James, remember he, he he was the guy saying that New York didn't even matter. Right, yeah, that's right. right. And now he's finished. Point. Right, and now he he's gone. Now you got that's not nice. Oh, I mean, so he had a hot verse. It it wasn't a song. Go on my grill wasn't a song. It was what I did the first time I gave my tape to Jam Master J. It was something that had repetitive piece in the front, repetitive piece in the back, but it wasn't a four bar chorus to repeat. There's no song structure. To the entire piece, the Schmurder record is the same thing. Yes, it is. You need to build, but now that gets pe- now, now that's out there instantly. Instead of it being like, "Oh, thanks, let's do something else," that's what's out and, there. And Schmurder, uh, we've had this conversation. 
He's trying to get prepared for how big this shit is. Right, but the task is to actually have them. We'll see if he's talented enough to continue yeah. success. Mm -hmm. Because if 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 it doesn't break, really, it's the next record. Next record comes and it's not that record, and bye. Mm -hmm. Was the last? I didn't have to go along with my girl. Was the last? Yeah, no, he didn't have a follow. Oh, although I loved his, sec I loved Turn Jam's James' second record. By yourself. The side piece, my Nobody side chick is my main one. chick. Is my Nobody side chick. Don't love the fact that no more. I thought that shit was hot. I was I, I like that. One. Um, hey, you know that cool. too? Yeah, I listen. People know that I song. Listen to everybody music. Man. I'm watching you. I'm man. not a hater. We just the bad guys of the rap game. Nobody you know. was was. I'm the, cool with it though. Was the last <laughs> cool with it. was the last biggest G Unit affiliated record biggest uh, started up? Was that the last G Unit? Non-stop on the radio. So, that's a solo record. That was I know, but I mean affiliate. Like, I still play it in my that G was, unit that set. That was though. after Ebro counted me out. Oh, Ebro had yeah, you on the map. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Ebro had you on the he, map. Oh, he was yeah, hating too. Ebro Summer Jam. He was remember? hating. Yeah, yeah. started up was big out there. It was big. It was I appreciate big. you for that. You, you, I put you on the ropes. You did. I put you on. And then he fought back. Yeah, you got to. You're doing it again, right? Yeah. It's cool.